Okay, so this is Rainbow-7x, and I'm going to do a little, like, basic functions demonstration on this radionics alarm system I have. This is a radionics D6412 panel, and I'm just going to show you basic functions. I, at this point in time, I'm still exporting a video that I took before this, that is the advanced functions of it, so like all the commands and stuff, but this will be a shorter one. And the last one was 30 minutes. I'm just going to show you a basic functions of it. So first off, this is the normal status. You see Rambo-7x, that is my panel name, and then OK for all on. There's three types of arming modes for this panel. All on, which arms everything, which is kind of like the uh, away mode on other panels. Then there's part on that arms, uh, you set which zones you want it to arm in your programming and uh, it's kind of like the stay mode or perimeter on other panels and then there's part two which you it's just like another part on but you can just set another different set of points that you want on so it says okay for all on that means that all the points are ready for arming so let's arm it to do so uh, let's do an all on arming so, to do that, you can either do Command-1 on this keypad, or you can do just the All-On key. So let's do the, let's do the All-On key, that's easier. Just push it, and enter my code. And 60 seconds to All-On. Now, it's monitoring our, ex our entry exit point on the panel. Now, during this delay, if it does not see us exit, it's going to shift down to part on mode. So let's exit. I have an access control panel set up, so I'm just going to have to push this and open the door. Okay, now it's seen. Now I've essentially opened the door, closed it, so it sees that we've exited. And now we wait for the delay. in the last 10 seconds of arming. Okay, now we are armed to all on. I don't have a motion sensor or anything hooked up right now. All that I have hooked up is this door and just monitoring other panels, so it's monitoring access control and this controller up there. And there's a siren attached. So let's open the door again, and let's try to disarm it. To disarm it, you just enter your code. You don't have to press anything after, you just enter your code, and that's all. So let's do a part on arming. So you can either do command 2 or the part on key. This time let's do command 2 and enter our code. Okay. Now we wait, but uh, let's demonstrate the no delay function. So right here, so click no delay. It'll give you another 10 seconds of exit time, essentially. Well, it says don't exit, but, I mean, it's another 10-second delay. But then, you see this little red light is flashing now? The little on light is flashing? That indicates that as soon as, as, soon as it goes, like, you activate a point, it's going to go off. So let's demonstrate it going off. Now, you'll hear the siren pulsing on and off. On for one second, off for one second. That is not standard. That's custom programmed by me. So it's kind of like a slow march time. So, let's set it off. I'm just going to press the button, and I'm going to have to disarm it quick because this is a little bit loud. Okay. You heard those three beeps afterwards. That means that we have canceled the alarm in time that it will not try to report to the central station. I mean, this panel isn't set up for that, but I set up the abort function just, just anyways. So now, 
we hold command to remove the silenced alarm. And then we can view alarm memory. Command four zero. And an error code that is. Board part uh, partition one or point one. Third door. So that's our alarm. Now to reset the system, if you have resettable detectors, you do command forty seven. There we go. So that is basic functions, and uh, let's do some other things. Let's show a bell test. So for a bell test, we do, uh, I believe it's command 41. Let's try it. Command 41. And an error code. Okay, and then it tests the battery afterwards. You can actually set what it tests. We're not going to wait four minutes. We're just going to press command. And now we're back to normal. Now, let's show a system trouble. So, in here, let's pull the access control line. Oh, wait a second. It's the wrong one. This one. There we go. So, we see trouble, press command 4 to view. You can press command 4, but if it's a point trouble, you can also just press star. Point 0.5 faulted access control. Now, I'll put that back. And we're back. So that is, uh, that's pretty much the basic functions of this panel. It's relatively easy to use, and you have panic keys down here. Uh, I'm not going to set it off because it's just like going into alarm, but you press it twice fast. So if I press one of them once, it's not going to do anything. But if I press it twice really quick, then it would go into alarm. Now, actually, I'll show bypassing points real fast. So bypass, you press bypass, and your code. And then, say I wanted to bypass bedroom door, I would press one star. And now we see point one bypassed. Now, I don't want it bypassed, so I'll press point one star again. Press command exit. Now usually, um, when you arm the system, it will leave that point bypassed. But then, once you disarm it, it will unbypass it automatically. And reset to all the points being enabled. So that is, that's that, that's the basic functions of the panel.